Hello Aries, how are you guys doing? This is your love reading. We are in August. Woohoo! From the what, what date are we in actually? We are in the 5th until the 11th of August. Yay! So we are going to do this reading. It is a love reading with regards to you and your person. We're going to see what is going on here. Do you know I'm coming into this reading and I have zero layout? So let's ask the guides, spirit guides for Aries. What is the layout this week for this reading? <laughs> How are we going to proceed with this reading? Let's see what they've got to say. Spirit guides, please take over the reading because Deborah doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I just um, actually finished uh, the readings for the last week, I think yesterday, and I have just started. It's like, this just two Aries. So let's see, Aries, what's going on with Aries? Um, we're going to know if this is your reading by the first two cards out, okay? The first two cards out, I do think we're going to look at what is going on with you, what is going on with your person, um, and then you'll know if it's your reading. If it is your reading, hit that thumbs up button, and then I will know. You can subscribe if you like to as well, and you can see me being more confused. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what am I doing today? No idea. Let's just let it flow. That's how I go. If you go with the flow in the readings. So if it is your reading, you'll know. Look at that. They flipped a card. Your energy. Let's have a look. You can also swap energies as well. Um, let's see. Let's have a look here. My goodness gracious me. Okay. <sighs> so we're also going to look at how this person is feeling towards you. It's going to be in the extended as well. Before I go any further, there's an extended to the reading. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description box below. We're going to look at this person's feelings towards you. Ay, ay, ay. When I'm looking at this, I'm like, what on earth is this person doing to you? Because you've got the energy of angels literally coming through asking you, to stop before you continue with this person. You got a two of swords here. You are really feeling very protective of yourself. Like you have to protect yourself against somebody. Um, there's an energy of you maybe having pulled back already from a person because you had needed to do so. This is not very uh, good energy coming through. I'm just letting you know because if you see the temperance next to the two of swords energy, no, 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 no. That is somebody who has been doing something. They've been doing stuff to you that is not okay, my Aries. No. Let's have a look and see. Look at this. This is what they've been doing. They've been hurting you by playing with your heart, you know, by telling you certain things that is never going to happen. Oh, Lordy, I corner. Sorry, I corner. It just means, oh no, you know, it's Zulu word. Um, oh, Lordy, this is what they've been doing. They keep on delaying the promises that they make to you. They keep on telling you, we're going to get married. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to come towards you. They get your hope up. When your hope is up, you've got this beautiful idea of what's going to happen. They tell you, sorry, I can't come this week, next week. I mean, this is a person who like, tells you we're going out this weekend. And you're like, yay, and you get ready. You even go buy an outfit. And, you know, we're going to go see my family in wherever. I'm going to introduce you to my parents. You know what I mean? And you get so excited. You go buy some new clothing. You pack your bags. And the hour before you're about to leave. This is this person's energy. My goodness. It's an example, though. Um, they call you, or not even an hour before you're about to leave, an hour after you about to leave. You're sitting there wondering, where are they? They call you and tell you, I'm sorry, but I can't go because I've got a disaster. Yeah, something has happened and I can no longer go and we can't go see this person. We can't go out. We can't do this. I can't come, whatever it may be. This is what they're doing. And this is what is making you get that two of swords up. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I think with the temperance card being in your energy with the two of swords, you're getting wise to this person's games. I think you've already picked up, uh, uh, something's not right with this person. They are not telling me 100% the truth yet. So let's have a look exactly what have they been telling you. Let's have a look on this side here. I want to see exactly what's going on in this with regards to what is going on with you needing to protect yourself, stopping to actually look at um, how you should proceed. Look at that. Yep, Major Arcana, you're coming into a real 
understanding you don't like what's what has been going on look at that and the nine of wands in their energy goodness gracious me <laughs> okay so let me tell you gee whiz with the nine of wands being on their side Woo! yeah this is they they don't first of all let me tell you something this person does not trust anyone at all when i've seen this card because i'm looking at the moon over there um i think you don't trust them much either because the moon has gotten into your energy as well um this is deception by the way um they don't trust the energy they don't trust anyone they don't trust anyone this comes to this point they just don't trust anyone they i don't know they walking away from everything that this is how this is their energy is really strange they are in a connection with people, they get involved with people, but they don't trust anybody. That is really, really weird. I mean, why, why get involved with people? They've got a very bad outlook on, on relationships, right over there with the Nine of Wands being there. Um, it's over, it's, it's, not, it's not real, it's not reality. The way that they, it's like, this person, what is really Aries? What is going on with them? Do you pick this up as well? Like, do you also say what is wrong with this person? You know, I don't know what has happened to them, but this is just being overly defensive and suspicious. This is kind of like a little bit paranoid. Hey, um, they don't believe relationships can work, and there's a funny, funny energy coming through here. I don't quite like it. Um, it's almost like they do funny things to people it's almost like revenge it's like on a oh i see that's why i'm picking it up has been so strange it's something that they don't even admit to themselves okay but on a subconscious level this person does these things to people because somewhere down there it's almost like they want other people to get hurt as well they don't look at if this is a woman's energy they don't look at men in a very good light if this is a man's energy they don't look at women in a very good light this is the kind of energy where a person comes up and says all women are bad they just want my money and if it's a woman they go all men are bad they just want one thing you know what i mean and this person's carrying this kind of thing within them they may not voice it but it's what's caused a lot of their funny behavior over here and it's almost and that's what i was picking up on there's almost this energy of them getting revenge getting revenge and they don't put it out there like that but that's the kind of vibe that is coming through there. It's like their behavior, when they see somebody get hurt and cry and fight with them, they almost get this kind of like, oh boy, like they get happiness out of it. It's like, oh, okay, I've achieved one point for my team against the enemy. This is really, really like, really? <laughs> like, are you... Are you living in a video game or something? I'm like, really? <laughs> what is going on with you? This is not reality, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil card has come up in the reverse energy, in your energy. Um, what is going on with this person? You are realizing certain things here. Uh, this person's behavior is out of control. And what I was just telling you, I picked it up here. I felt like... This is how I felt, feeling, I'm feeling the energy. I'm going to try to explain to you. And I'm seeing it now in the two cards. I'm going to show you. This is what I felt and I only noticed it now in the cards. I feel like I'm walking into a storm. Okay? I feel like I'm walking into chaos. Like I feel like I'm walking into confusion and chaos energy. And um, <sighs> very scattered emotion. I'm very... There's no foundation here. If you look at both of these cards, okay, there is a, like clouds in the background, very cloudy energy, and it's in the reverse position. And that's the kind of energy, you know, when you walk into the mist, you know, and, or very thick fog, you don't see too far, and you never know what's about to show itself in front of you. This person's energy is out of control. They don't have a very good grip on reality. I'm just saying, I know a lot of cross watchers are going to comment below and say, we hate you, Deborah, we hate you it's not your reading guys you know if this is not you you know this is not you please check back next week remember sometimes for a cross watcher coming in to watch say an aries reading you came in to get a message and sometimes it is 
you instead of the Aries. You know, you're going, this is Aries' energy. No, it's actually you that I'm reading because you're watching the reading, even though you're not Aries, okay? Um, this person has got an out-of-control addictive behavior. For some of you, they may have addictions. They may have addictions that causes them also to become paranoid. I mean, I'm t I know that a lot of time people, if they're drinking or people are on drugs and all these funny things like that, they're not 100% they're not right. You know, the, this chemical, it causes imbalances within them. It causes them to act in a very paranoid way. So let's have a look. Advice that's coming out. Five of Wands. Try to be careful because there is an energy of needing to defend yourself against this person. This is a back and forth situation that has been going on for a while. This is the card that separates these two energies. It's the one card that talks about what is going on here. The ultimate card, you know, it's the same. Look at the five of wands. Look at how it's like P2 people fighting. It's like wands. Everybody's got something to say. And this the situation between you and this person, this has been an ongoing thing. How many times have they let you down? How many times has this person told you, we are getting engaged, woohoo, and they cancel out on you. We are going to, on holiday and they cancel out on you. We're going out, we're just going out somewhere. And they show up four hours later and tell you, oh, we can't go anymore. How many times have they made promises to you that they have not kept? And you may be fighting back with them. This is, a, this is even the behavior of what they're doing, this repetitive letting you down because they keep letting you down. This is like an addictive behavior as well. It's like what people do that they should... Oh, I've got a hiccup. Huh? That, that, you see, this is a hiccup in life. Okay, a hiccup. So this is something that they keep on doing. And let's get your spirit guide message out with regards to advice for you with this situation. Um, whoa, let's have a look and see. I've got a nice... This is the um, Sacred Traveler oracle deck which i'm just i recently managed to get into south africa with lockdown it's been pretty hard getting uh, decks and stuff into the country i've been stuck for months i think i waited like maybe two weeks for the courier to get this to me so happy 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 times hey let's see spirit guide what advice do you have let's do it this way they're pretty big but i'm gonna try um for my aries out there please with regards to what they should be doing advice from you to them please and it's the bottom card i just felt that card there we go let's see what they got to say ah <sighs> you better get a bigger picture here guys that is the view from above get the picture <laughs> this is the picture that you need to get um this is a very very funny card to come out here the reason why, let me put it on top so that you can see what it says there, if you can with the camera. Um, you know what's so funny? I'm very, I'm very, I was actually surprised to see that card come out, the view from above, because that's how spirit guides see it. They view it from above. You know, we always like to say um, heaven is up there and, you know, it's not really like that. It's different energies, but they are viewing the world in such a way. They view our lives in such a way that they kind of see everything from above. I'm just saying, it's not that they are above. It's because they see the big picture, you see, and they asking you to get the big picture as well. Um we live in the moment and we live in the future and we live in the past. A lot of the stuff that we um, experience and we fear, um, sometimes we're living in the past and we should not be. Sometimes we're afraid of the future that has never happened and we don't see the bigger picture. We're literally standing in the forest with our nose touching the tree, okay? And we don't even know that we're in the forest. We just see the bark. And they are asking you actually to step out of the situation and have a look at this thing from outside as me i'm sitting here i'm doing a reading and i know this is a back and forth drama with the five of wands i can see this has been something that's been going back and forth but i'm reading this from here i'm literally looking at this from above and i'm looking at this person and i can just see that this person is he's got some problems okay they're not I don't think they're capable of commitment and this is a kind of thing that they keep on doing like i told you there's a thing in them that almost there's an energy of them getting revenge here. Think about how they've been treating you. Why are they doing this? So there's, especially with the temperance card coming out here, the temperance card is literally asking you to do this. Stop. 
and start to reevaluate the situation because there's something off here. I honestly think that you are feeling it already, especially with the devil card coming out with that two of swords in your energy. You can pick up there's something not right here and they are asking you to literally step back and look at it from another point of view. Look at it from a place of outside and not inside and you're going to start to see things don't add up here. This is not a good positive vibe that is coming on here. So you need a new perspective. Imagine Temperance card is talking about re-evaluating a situation and they are asking you to look at things from a different perspective because you're going to be able to see some truths that you have not seen before. Wow, guys. Wow. Time to look at things differently here. Time to look at this person with a brand new, fresh pair of eyes, okay? And sometimes to do so, you need to pull back your energy just a little bit. Put some space between you and this person. And even if the space is time, um, tell them no next time. When they say this weekend, we're going somewhere. Say no, next weekend, I can't do it this weekend. Have some time on your own so that you can get some clarity, some thoughts in your mind that maybe is not going to get interfered with with this Five of Wands energy. Because this Five of Wands is a little bit of back and forth energy. You need to not have that there. You need to have the Five of Wands go to a place of like the hermit for a little while so that you can get some perspective on what is going on here. Wow, Aries. Um, gee whiz. You know what? Um, Remember, if you want to check out the extended, I actually want to look at how they actually feel about you. This is very interesting because this person, I don't know, they're kind of confused and they're confused in confusion about what they think love is and how they think the world is, is causing you problems over there. There we go, Aries. I'm sending you light and love. Thank you for watching. Bye.